hi everyone. This is Caroline and today is October 14, 2012. It is Omnium Radio Webcast. We're going to talk a little bit about what's going on in the world. Not much though, because we don't need to focus too much <laughs> on uh, what the rest of the world is doing. Uh, simply acknowledge and move on which is really the topic of the day, uh, which is focus. Uh, I want to first, before we begin, uh, allowing more people to join, uh, just uh, to kind of have a, a very quick, brief uh, review of how the energies are moving around on the earth these days. And they are certainly moving around a lot of chaos as uh, we have been talking. Um, the, it seems like the old paradigm is getting older. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but it seems that the momentum of the old way of creating and being is kind of, um, uh, cre uh, having a bigger momentum, so to speak, as if it was trying to hold on to its own reality, trying to kind of hang on um, in, for its uh, fighting for its own existence, if that makes any sense. And so, more than ever before, we are seeing expression experiences um, or just the plain old stuff repeating itself over and over. Um, is we see that, of course, in politics, in um, in society in general, and what's going on on the web, you know, who is fighting whom and for what reason. And the really old, old belief systems uh, kind of still uh, trying to, to hang in there uh, in their own reality. So having said that, uh, we are also uh, hopefully noticing a huge new energy, which is to me the, the creation of the new paradigm. It's very much present uh, on the earth as far as I'm concerned. The problem is we're having a hard time seeing it or finding it. And uh, we also have a belief system that it may not be here. Or another belief system is that first the old has to disappear and then for the new to happen. These are all belief systems. These are all our perceptions of how things should be. So to me, it doesn't really work this way. For those who have known me for a while now, understand that everything is multidimensional. Everything is happening at the same time. As th certain things are fading out, new things are fading in, we don't have to wait for the world to collapse to, in order for us to create something new. And so um, it's, it's, um, it's a kind of a linear way of thinking uh, that the old thing has to change or dissolve uh, or that we cannot ignore it in order for the new paradigm to appear. So, time to shift your perception. It doesn't really work this way. In fact, more than ever before, uh, we have a supporting structure on the earth in the form of a grid system and a reality structure. It's as if there was a new brain uh, on the planet that is very much solid, very much present, and we can tune into this brain this new brain, and create from that brain, with that brain, regardless of what the rest of the world is doing. So uh, the idea is, though, uh, and what makes the, the difference with this year as opposed to last year, is that this year um, the paradigm, uh, the, the new paradigm is supported by this structure, like I said, the new grid. And the grid is locked into a position, meaning it's like up until last year, um, it wasn't, the supporting structure was not very solid. And so we are kind of being bounced around, so to speak, and we didn't have this big new brain, so to speak, to draw from, to draw on. And so up until last year, it was much harder to find the connection, to stay in the connection, and to create from that connection. So we've been talking about this uh, the la in the last few webcasts, but this is a very important time because um, 
there seems to be this kind of last summer, a sort of a new vortex of some sort that is um, coming through in the form of wanting to absorb um, consciousness. Um, it's almost like it's a new uh, whirlwind of information that's coming very powerfully like a hurricane, wanting to take with it everything uh, that is not solid. And so if you are not solid, you're going to be dragged into that hurricane, so to speak. But the good news is you have this supporting structure to hold on to. And so uh, more than ever before, if you are not aware of that this is true, if you are not conscious of the presence of this new structure, and more importantly, if you don't believe that this is the case, then you're going to be very wobbly, especially in this last summer and moving into the fall until the end of this year and through the beginning of next year. And so this is an important time for you to check your belief system, see where you stand, uh, so that uh, you can not only uh, make sure you don't get dragged into the, the old paradigm, but begin to create the new paradigm. And again, even in this chaotic time, more than ever before, uh, this is the time for you to create. It's almost like this supporting structure is giving you all the tools that you need to create the new. So there, we're going to do a little bit of work here uh, to help the kind of leftover uh, belief systems that keep you thinking in the old way in for, um, regarding your creation. Um, and also, we're going to work on focus. Focus is, again, very, very important. Uh, I'm sure you've heard many times, not just from me, but other people as well. Talk about focus. You see, what you focus on is what is, is what you experience, right? You've heard that before. And so I think that most people know that, but the thing is, you may know that, but you have not mastered that knowledge. This means that if you are focusing on a problem, you are experiencing this problem, you're giving it uh, more truth, and you're making it your reality. That's what it means. And if you focus on the solution, then you begin to create that solution. So like I said, I think theoretically you know that, but I think you are not really living it. You haven't really mastered it. And that's what I want to work on today and what I want to help you with. Because you see, if you have, um, if you continue to focus even slightly on the problem or the root cause or, or why this is happening and all of these things, um, meaning the, the problem, uh, then you will not be able to create. You will not be able to move forward. You're not going to be able to thrust yourself into this new paradigm and to contribute to the new paradigm. Quite the opposite. You're going to be dragged into these old paradigms. So this is a very important time for you to really master your focus. Your focus is your consciousness ability to project itself onto an outside, an external stimulus in such a way that it can draw from it and create from it in a powerful and positive manner. Wow, that was a cool definition, just kind of came out. <laughs> so this means that uh, your consciousness projects itself or uh, puts itself in the same um, in the same frequency range, if you will, uh, of an external thing, object or subject or what have you. And as soon as it does that, your consciousness begins to create. The instant that you come in contact with this thing, whatever it may be, your consciousness draws from it and creates from it. It is so powerful that you could be watching a soap opera 
or anything. It doesn't really matter. I hope you're not watching a soap opera. But <laughs> even if you're watching something on the news or on television, something that you know is not necessarily your truth or your reality, but the fact that you have just come in contact with it immediately in that split second, your consciousness begins to draw from it. This is huge. So, for example, you're watching a, a movie and there is somebody, you know, as always being killed or chased or whatever. So you are focusing knowing that it's a movie, it's not real. But the fact that you are coming in contact with this information, you immediately draw the frequency attached to it and you start to create your experience accordingly, even if you know that this movie is just a movie and it's not real. In fact, this phenomenon is so real, it's, it's so happening all the time, that you can actually even attract certain um, consciousness uh, from those experiences without even knowing. For example, you could attract, I mean, um, for example, uh, even blocks or, or you could attract uh, interference or what have you from even an actor in the movie that's going through a particular experience, even though you know very well that it is uh, a, a fake or it's not real or it's a movie. So this is very important. This is the law. Uh, of course, you've heard of it, the law of attraction, but I don't think you, you really are mastering it to the level of not allowing any piece of information to come through you and affect your consciousness. So that's what I want to talk about. So more than ever before today, as of today, you have to make a commitment to yourself that your consciousness is not to engage in any sort of connection, energetic connection that is not relevant to its own evolution, to its own expansion. Because at this point, what you are here to do is to create and implement a new paradigm on earth. You know, it is not helpful at all to add to the uh, collective consciousness all those who are still wrapped into creating the old and especially dwelling on the old. We don't need more people doing that. We have enough of those. There's a few billion doing that. So I believe... We have come to the earth uh, this time around to truly, truly focus on creating the new. So I'd like to focus on this level of mastery that happens only with your ability to understand this very important and very powerful phenomenon. The way your consciousness attracts information immediately through energetic contact. So having said that, um, I've also um, created some tools for you. Of course, those who have come to our live classes, we um, did in, um, uh, we presented a few classes in September. So for those who were able to come and experience certain things, um, you were able to, to, uh, to understand on a deeper level, I suppose, uh, some of these new tools that uh, I've been um, working on and created with some folks here. And so um, that's what I want to focus on and show you and talk about today, um, is that even though the world is doing whatever it's doing, and that will continue, uh, I have started to create uh, the new paradigm and uh, work with the new tools that allow your consciousness to switch focus instantly so that as soon as you come in contact with this tool, with this information, you absorb immediately what's behind it, the energy behind it. Instead of watching an actor in a movie, you know, getting killed or being sad because his girlfriend got, um, you know, dumped him or something or what have you, and absorbing that, um, you know, I have created these tools that allow your consciousness to immediately switch to uh, basically your true essence and draw from that. So uh, for those who are still new, I see a bunch of new names here and of course people coming back. 
but I want to, even those who have experienced these things, I'd like uh, you to go to a deeper level today with this understanding. So one of these creation, one of these tools are these apps and these um, very short uh, video clips that um, we have created. And um, these are uh, very powerful tools because they contain multidimensional information. It's not just pretty pictures with pretty music and, uh, and that's it, that gets you calm. These are filled or they are made with a, uh, a lot of uh, very specific forms of information, meaning light, sound, zero point, all sorts of techniques uh, that are all put together. They are packaged in what appears to be uh, a pretty video with some pretty music. And the idea is <laughs> that as soon as you put your focus, your consciousness comes in contact with uh, this uh, video clip, you immediately switch to uh, the information behind it. Uh, the information behind it is uh, depends on the video, of course, but the information behind it um, has at least uh, one of these elements, one of which is your, your true original blueprint, your universal self, the consciousness, the massive original consciousness that you are created with, as rather. So when you focus on these things in that split second, your human consciousness starts to draw from your original consciousness, just like that, because that is the first ingredient in this video clip, for example. Um, another element is that it allows you to open up to a new uh, creative uh, frequency, so to speak, that has never been done before. This means that as soon as your consciousness focuses, comes in contact with uh, that particular video clip, there is a part in your physical brain that opens up just like that. And so you feel an opening and that new opening is um, what will allow you to have new ideas, create new um, new stories, new tools, new uh, basically create the new paradigm um, through this new consciousness opening. So uh, I wanted to share with you then uh, these video clips help you shift, again, for those who have been doing these, uh, have seen them on the website, uh, please, I would like you to go to a deeper level today and focus on having a mastery, uh, arriving, achieving a mastery over what your consciousness is focusing on and to immediately have that switch. So, even if you end up watching the news or something on TV or whatever, that uh, your brain or your consciousness registers as um, unable to, to respond <laughs> uh, to the misaligned information. And you can do that. And the more you do that, uh, the more your consciousness gets used to immediately not responding to misaligned consciousness in that split second. And in the meantime, use uh, those tools that I'm providing for you today in the form of video clips and, of course, audio. Uh, but also, um, you know, I've, if you've been wondering what I've been doing in my spare time, <laughs> there's also a, vi a um, movie coming, uh, video games coming, uh, apps coming that you can download on your iPhone and iPads and all these things. So um, all these are new tools that look very uh, simple and easy. But what they're doing is allowing your ch children, people who are not, you know, if you will, into this metaphysical stuff or spiritual stuff, to help them just make the switch, make this immediate switch so that their consciousness while being entertained by watching very simple, you know, pretty clip, video clip, uh, they're learning on a deeper level, they're absorbing a whole new um, set of information that's training their consciousness to immediately default 
and not register, not absorb, not react to the old paradigm consciousness in that split second and, and quite the opposite, open up uh, these new um, pathways to creating the new paradigm, okay? So let's see if there are some questions here. Daniel's asking, uh, what are the beliefs related to the old paradigm? Yeah, the, the old paradigm is that I have to wait for um, the old world to end or what have you before I can create. I cannot create uh, while there's all this chaos on the planet. There's all these beliefs that we're holding on to, um, of course, unconsciously, that are holding you back, not letting you move forward and create the new paradigm. Like I said, the new paradigm is being created now by you every time you focus the right way. And so, like I'm saying, it's like this is the time for you to be creating. We don't have to wait for anything. We don't have to wait for the politics to settle or the economy to settle or for Syria to resolve its problem or this or that. We don't have to wait. There is a huge, very important, supportive um, structure available and now, like I said, tools that are very, very easy to just use every day to make the switch just like that in that split second and off you go. So we need to move forward in our creativity right now and create any sort of um, expression as long as this expression is coming from this new place of consciousness connection. So, um, okay, so the app, somebody's asking when will it be available. The apps were supposed to be out on October 1st, but we're still there. Uh, Apple is asking us to reformat a couple of things. So uh, it's going to be any time now. We will send a newsletter and tell everybody to um, when it's out and you can get it. In the meantime... If uh, you're not aware, there's free video clips on the website for those who are new. And there's the DVD also. We came out with the DVD in the meantime. There will be many more formats and many more, um, you know, different options coming. That's what we're working on. This is the new Omnium Entertainment um, segment that we have started since last year, you know, creating all these new tools. So as we have these tools available for you, we're going to keep sending newsletters, um, and uh, letting you know what's available. But just go on the website. In fact, it's uh, omniamedia.com, but also on Omnium Universe. You can find that under media as well. And uh, you will see, uh, we will continue to make new tools available. All right, so... Uh, so, uh, Saya is asking, will there be something particularly for small children? Yes. In fact, we're creating now new ones that are specific for uh, different uh, age, uh, children of different ages, so that um, it's kind of more, um, you know, it's more specific to their needs. So, these are coming up also pretty soon. Uh, tell us more about being able to watch the news, uh, for example, the U.S. presidential debate. Oh, yeah, tell me about that. And not taking it, <laughs> misaligned information. Uh, that's precisely my point, is that uh, what happens is that as you are watching the presidential debate, what's happening is that your consciousness is immediately coming in contact with, hello, old paradigm, right? So immediately. Your consciousness is responding and creating with old paradigm tools immediately. Whether you agree with what this guy is saying or not, it's, it's, it's your creative ability that just got altered just like that. And so what happens is that the more you use the new tools, um, and Kim, you know that from uh, the classes that you've been taking, and the more we're going to do this, uh, we're going to do this uh, video exercise just now as soon as we're done with the questions, um, the more your consciousness recognizes the new paradigm tool, the more you train it to not respond. You will be able to watch the, the news, the presidential debate, Watch it and not allow your consciousness to absorb or respond to any of the information in that split second. Again, it's all about mastery. 
Okay, somebody is asking, if ex exposed to old paradigms such as in the news or a film, do we then look at one of your short videos or is the idea that by regularly using the videos, our consciousness automatically makes a switch? Do we need to tell our consciousness to make the switch? Yes, it's both, Lucy. So uh, these tools, those videos that I've prepared for you, train your consciousness to recognize and discern. So there's that going on. And at the same time, there are certain videos that are specific for reprogramming your consciousness. So uh, those specific ones are telling your consciousness, immediately recognize new paradigm, immediately switch off, do not register, do not register. <laughs> you know, it's kind of uh, training your, your brain and your consciousness to look at without registering or absorbing any of the information. And uh, so it's, it's a combination of both. And of course, the more you do the new paradigm stuff, the more you will much easier recognize the old. So it's, it's a combination of both, okay? All right, here's somebody else. Hello, Caroline. Can one also reverse one's deep uh, soul pain, things you have with you since you were born, or is that impossible since now it is? Where's the rest of your question? Now it is. Okay. So, um, yeah, of course, uh, again, uh, these um, tools, these videos, uh, we call them apps because they're so short and so right to the point, <laughs> are uh, very powerful. You can do all sorts of releases and uh, undoing uh, things. It's not just about creating. The subject of today is for, to move, for me to offer you a tool to move forward in creation. It doesn't mean that these uh, tools do not also help you undo blocks and release old patterns and things like that. So it works for healing. It works for cellular reprogramming. It, it works for many different uh, things. And so just go back and do uh, the ones that, uh, that are about cell clearing, mind clearing, especially the deep cellular clearing. So you can focus on your issue and do that. Um, and so, um, so that's that. But uh, the focus of today is focus. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, that's why I'm focusing on focus, which is the focus of today's talk. <laughs> and so, um, um, in, which allows your consciousness to focus in the right direction. So that's why I'm focusing on that. Okay, here we go. Next question. Hello, Caroline. Uh, let me see here. Uh, do the sounds and the music also have effects on pets? Of course, you know, uh, pets uh, respond just like humans. It's not, uh, what I want to tell you, in fact, it's not just the music, it's the music, it's the video, but it's not just uh, the audio and the visual. It's everything together. Uh, again, I made a presentation in, uh, in the live classes. I'll do that next time, uh, maybe when the apps are out uh, to sh demonstrate more things. And we also have a video game, you guys, uh, not quite yet, but uh, coming next year. Um, that will also be uh, working with, uh, with, with that sort of information. So in the form of video games, video game. So, uh, so the pets and anybody else, in fact, for that matter, are coming in contact with that consciousness, the consciousness that is pure original self, pure universal self, pure consciousness, and they're going to respond. So some of you are attracted to the music. Some of you love the visuals. Some of you uh, like my voice or what have you. But it's not, these are kind of like the, this is the outer or the exterior part of what is really happening. What is really happening is behind uh, the audio and the music and the voice and the text is a whole programming. This programming, each video has a three-page long formula, meaning how it should work on consciousness consciousness, what it does, uh, when it does this, when it does that, how it affects this, how it affects that. It's a very um, big uh, multidimensional experience that you're coming in contact with. That is the reason why it is pretty instant because it's not just the picture, it's not just the music, it's all of that. So your pets are also getting the same treatment. 
All right. So is a reconnection to personal blueprint via tools possible? Of course, that is exactly what these are made for. Uh, for you, for your consciousness to come in contact, instant contact with information it understands, meaning higher vibration, a full source universal blueprint. All of that is, um, is the idea that is contained within these videos. Okay. If we intentionally create a sacred space where only that which is aligned with our highest good can occupy the space, is this enough? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, what happens is that it's enough uh, for technically if you have full mastery, if you are able to maintain your vibration at a minimum of 800 hertz every single second of your day, then you probably can do this. Uh, of course, I think you're not there yet. I think you're not the only one. Most people are not there yet. It's a difficult process. A lot of you are getting there. That's for sure. A lot of you are actually, especially those who have been doing this work uh, consistently, are now very much able to sustain that vibration throughout the day. And if not, you kind of revert to it and you know how to get back to it in a few seconds. I'm very proud of you. A lot of you uh, who have been doing this work. So, um, you know, we are creating this thing. And like I said earlier, uh, the old paradigm, there's only, you know, six billion, uh, if not more, creating uh, the other stuff, you know, in the lower vibration. So, you know, even though you are creating, but so is the rest of uh, this planet. And so it's a, it's a quite difficult. It's not impossible. But that's why we are providing tools that your consciousness can just come in contact with in that split second you are in that vibration you are immediately um, those uh, video clips are all at a minimum of 935 to 1100 hertz so as soon as your consciousness comes in contact with it you are there all right so here we go let me see what else here we go how to disengage with the old paradigm when still attached to it through legal document government. You know, I have to tell you, it's actually very easy. This is one of those belief systems um, uh, Daniel was asking. How, um, you know, what are the belief system? This is another belief system that because we have to have um, contract and legal documents and government document that we are connected and uh, to the old paradigm. We are still connected, but the problem is the the, quest, the point is we are not affected by it. I still have to sign a contract, you know, uh, binding me to Apple. I don't think Apple is there yet. You know, they're very cool people, but they haven't caught up with this uh, higher vibration thing. Obviously, otherwise they wouldn't be asking me to reformat this app 50 million times. <laughs> but anyway, so. You know, I have to sign a contract that says this and this and that. And there's so many pages. I don't even want to read those things. But that's the only way I can make these videos available to all these people who carry iPhones around. So what do I do? Do I kind of keep focusing on, you know, the whole Apple, whatever, why and the agreement and the papers and the documents? Or do I just say... I focus on the final outcome, which is helping making this as accessible, as easy, as cheap, as simple, as affordable, as fun, as functional as possible. Apple happens to be pretty aligned for that. Uh, and so I'm focusing on that final result. And I tell you, it's totally painless to to sign these these contracts because i'm not attached to the contract i'm not focused on it and so the fact this is an old belief system this very old paradigm to think that because we have to pay taxes because we have to pay um certain things that we have to be uh, governed by them. It is not true. So this is an opportunity for everyone right now to make a decision to make the switch that even though most of this planet is still functioning with the old paradigm, uh, we are still having to pay certain things we're, we don't want to pay, we don't agree with, we don't, you know, you have to make a decision when you switch your focus, then you will find yourself very easily going through the motion and it's not affecting you whatsoever. 
It's, it's, it doesn't even, I mean, I don't even think about that, that thing that I assign because I'm focusing about the amazing thing that I'm bringing that will help tons of people. And that is enough for me. And, you know, so that's what you guys can do. Don't let this uh, old perception and belief system, uh, you know, make you, again, it drags you, it takes you back to the old belief that, um, that the old paradigm is still here. We still have to function within it. You have to function sometimes within it, but it doesn't have to affect you and it doesn't have to affect your consciousness. It doesn't have to dictate how your consciousness create. All right. So that's that. Okay. Here we go. Let me see uh, what else here. Caroline, can any of those video protect us or rebalance us from all the waves we live in, cell phones and stuff? Yeah, again, you know, it's all part of the experience. Um, and so, um, and so, um, it, part of this is, uh, the protection part of it is, um, the um, uh, the alignment with source consciousness again. So some people say, okay, so we're sitting in front of a computer and this and that. <laughs> again, you know, you can bypass this if you know where you're focusing. The th the theme of today is focus in that split second. If you are able to switch your focus to the right place, everything else kind of disappears. So that's that's the level of mastery we're talking about. The idea. Uh, believe me, when you are watching even something insignificant, again, I keep saying TV, but it could be anything. It could be on the street, you know, uh, by simply putting your focus there in that split second, you are absorbing it. You are uh, reacting and creating with that information unless you train your consciousness. And that is what you're doing in this presentation. Okay. The idea of creating all these new media, uh, these are just small apps, like I said, but we have other things. Uh, the film is, is a very big project, so it's, it's a huge thing. But we, are the, the, we have other video um, kind of presentations we are still combining and putting together and the video games. The idea is that to make these available to everyone, regardless of if they know this work, not know this work, if they believe in it, no, don't believe in it. That's precisely my point, that we are creating new paradigm, new paradigm tools, new paradigm material, new paradigm way that goes beyond the linear. Okay, first you have to learn this, this and that, and, and then you can understand. And then, so, you know, many people had to uh, train with me and learn this class and go through that other class and go through. There's a specific reason why some people had to uh, do certain things in a formal way, if you will, or, um, you know, the typical way, if you will, of going through, you know, having to read this book, having to do this exercise, having to go to these classes, finish certain classes before they could uh, get to a certain level. That's one thing. Moving forward, the new generation of human does not have to process information in the same way. And so the human brain is changing and we have to provide the tools that support the new human brain. We have to take the human brain to that place. And we are doing that by creating these cool things that, I mean, look like just a cute video or what have you, but it's, it's projecting, it's integrating, it is, um, uh, bringing it's, it's creating at a completely different level. And I'm going to tell you something, the, some children, the new children are going to recognize this work. They're going to understand, they're going to see what's behind these videos. So it doesn't matter. People do not have to read my books. They don't have to go on my website. They don't have to know who I am. They don't have to know anything about spirituality or consciousness or whatever, whatever. That is precisely the purpose of providing all these tools, you know, uh, in the form of in the form of DVD, in the form of a film, in the form of a game, in the form of all of these things. Even those of you who do art, those of you who do, uh, I don't know, who sing or dance or whatever, you know, any form of expression. If you understand how this is working, uh, which is, you know, we just did that in the last classes, the live classes, 
you have to begin to uh, manifest this new form of education, new form of creating for the new human brain. So those who are still new, also go to my website and uh, listen to the uh, New Paradigm Educational System. It's free of charge. It's online. I think there's three uh, sessions on there. You can just listen to understand that the new paradigm creation has nothing to do with books, with uh, repeating stuff and, and going in the history of how previous humans have learned and absorbed things. We are at a, we are at a new level. We are, that's why we call it new paradigm. Uh, the new paradigm says uh, there are new tools for a new brain, for a new species. That's what it says. And so uh, that is the reason why uh, you first have to experience those tools and feel them and understand them on a, at a deeper level. If you, your brain starts to register this information using those tools, then you will know how to use these tools to help others. And not more importantly, create your expression uh, based on these tools. So for example, uh, let's say I'm a writer, okay? Or I want to write something anyway. I don't have to be a writer. Uh, I, I've never written before and I want to write something. If I understand that I'm not going to write based on what this person said or that other person or what I think I should say or what will sell well or what I think people need or whatever. All of this is old paradigm, folks. This is old paradigm. If I'm going to create something such as a book, I'm going to go to a place where consciousness, I'm going to create a material, a new material, which I will call a book, whatever. And this new material will hold a consciousness so that every human that comes in contact, this instant uh, click, every co human consciousness that comes in contact with my new book, immediately right there, that split second focus of people's consciousness with my book is going to trigger uh, this huge connection to source, this huge connection to the universal reality, to uh, universal consciousness at, at a, a completely new level. So uh, that's why, like I said, for those who are new, please go back and uh, listen to some of these videos that explain more in detail um, what I'm talking about so that you begin to create your new expression at that level for the future brain the fu of the future human. All right. And these tools are assisting you hopefully. All right. And again, for those who have been using these, I hope you are noticing that sometimes if you change your intent, it will also give you a different experience. Because this is based on universal dynamics and universal multidimensionality, it is impossible for you to experience the same thing over and over. You may feel relaxed over and over, but that doesn't mean that it's the same experience. You will integrate a different level every single time. Musical CDs are created with a particular consciousness. Uh, the, the Every single product, if you will, or material or media is offering you its own experience. So you have to use your guidance. If you feel that now you just need to, you know, a musical piece, then that's what you need to be getting. If you, um, um, if you need, if you feel that you need a particular uh, a video clip, then, then that's what you, that's what you're going to gravitate towards. It's a, uh, not only every single video offers a completely different experience, but every single musical piece. Uh, so, you know, every single exercise for those who have been working with me know you can do the same, just exercise over and over. It will be different. Thank you very much for um, joining me today. I look forward to connecting with you next time.